What is happening? Welcome to another pitch video breakdown. My name is Nick Pollock, founder of PitcherList.com. You got to go there for everything that you need baseball wise. We have so many articles every single day. Podcast galore. The Nick and Alex baseball show is my favorite thing. Definitely check it out on this channel. But I was a college baseball pitcher and pitching coach and travel baseball coach and all that stuff. And yes, this is obviously just a Shohei Otani channel. I think this is the third time we're going to watch him, but I can't help myself. Eight innings, 13 strikeouts, and his slider was so good again. And I just want to watch it. Like, this is the fun of baseball. I whipped out my Atani shirt because how could I not? Um, so, yeah, sit back, enjoy it, put this on double speed or whatever you want on YouTube. Make sure you sub and hit the bell and everything like that. Help me out with this channel because I'm going to invest the next, I don't know how long, how long this video is, but it's like 40 minutes or something probably. I don't know. We got to get going, though. It's going to be longer. So, Otani against the Royals. First pitch of the game, throwing 96. Okay, okay, okay. I'm going to try and speed through enough. But that's the thing. Oh, that's the slider. Okay. So, uh, weird camera angle. It's going to make the slider look a lot like this in this. But really, the slider is going like that. It's going very much uh, right to left. And this had a 57% CSW. This location is not necessarily ideal, you would think. But for 1-0, second pitch of the game. It's fine. You're just trying to get a strike with it. And, man, 57% CSW. That's called strikes plus whiffs. It's that I invented years ago. Um, that's a perfect one. That's a perfect one. Man, that's really good. I mean, that, that, even that's like a should have been another CSW. That's insane. Uh, at 95, okay, so it's 2-1. He just throws, brews back, throws a fastball. He's like, look, I'm not going to walk the first batter of the game. Just throw a fastball for a strike. Maryfield misses that one. It kind of just says, like, throw another one, dude. Just throw another one higher up. Like, don't get cute about this. Oh, he doesn't get another slider call there. Come on, man. Wow. And even the ones that don't do uh, CSW I, are that good. And that's kind of awesome. Um, by Mitt Merrifield. Mitt Whit Merrifield. Uh, so, as I said before, 95, he swung through it. He threw the slider. I think this is the problem here is he threw the slider for a ball. And because he threw it for a ball, it told Whit Merrifield that it would be a, a fastball then. And he didn't make it to the 95 down. This is like... Honestly, if you if Otani knows for a fact that Merrifield is swinging at this fastball, like he's going to do it every time, props to Merrifield for making the adjustment. Uh, but that's yeah, he only allows one hit the rest of the game. Just so you know, that's the curveball at 73. He's trying to get free real estate. Doesn't work. A little bit of a struggle here. Uh, that looked like a splitter down and away. Could have been the uh, could have been the the slider again. I think it was a splitter. Um, but look at that, two hits and um, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's watch more Dominus now. There he gets the call they should have gone in the first at bat. Uh, throws it again because why not? You just nailed that and throw it again a little bit farther now. Yeah. Okay. You can do it one more time and he'll swing. Oh, and there's a first fastball, 97 up and in. I mean, either way, I think you had wit there. Uh, you could have done a gambit on the slider. Um, he hadn't seen 97 yet. So even if he's expecting the fastball, which he was, and he swung at this and he went after it, um, doesn't matter <laughs> if, if, if Otani is able to do that, like it does not matter. I, uh, but yeah, so just so you go, nice guys know he's not allowing another hit now. Spoiler alert. That's, that's what it is. I'm, I'm want to see what it was a backdoor slider. It wasn't a splitter. Okay. I just want to confirm that. Just want to know. Um, it was a good backdoor slider then down and away. The Ben Tenney just hit more sliders. And I, and I gotta say, whenever we've watched Otani, Right? It's always been slider focus. Like, he's trying to get sliders back door here, especially to lefties. Then he's eventually going to ch hopefully try and get that down here to lefties. But he's he's really not going to be doing that unless it's early in the count. You're going to see a big curveball every so often try and come in for free real estate. You're going to see these fastballs up here, rarely down here. And then you're going to see the uh, splitter trying to fall off this way. I mean, that's the start. But really, it's like, it's all slider focused. And I love that. When he does it, it's amazing. 96 up. Okay. Slider again. Oh, there's a big curveball trying to get some real estate with that. There's a backdoor slider, as I was talking about. And that's a 2-1, right? 2-1 is not a, a fastball count anymore. There's no such thing as a fastball count anymore, right? It's pretty wild. Oh, and there is a fastball down the middle, but it goes into the Marsh's glove. Okay. I mean, that gives you the confidence if you're Otani in that moment. Oh, there's a beautiful slider. Ah! Yeah, you throw it again. Oh, yep, yeah, nope. You throw it again. I mean, he's swinging at the thing. Yeah, done. Oh, what? 
He went around. He absolutely went around. Throw it again. He went around. Oh, you have to do that to keep him off. All right, fine. Now you throw it again. Yeah, there you go. And they just called it as a strike. Like, <laughs> I mean, this is pristine. This is an amazing 2-2 pitch. Dojo struck out on four, you know, four strikes there. All right, all right, let's see this. Free real estate? Free real estate. That's beautiful. Free real estate. And don't undervalue that. I mean, a first pitch curveball in the zone, 72, like, that changes everything, especially the inning, too. This is your first pitch of the inning. First batter is the most important one. Get that first out, right? What's the most important pitch? Strike one. That's what my coach would always say growing up. That's a mistake. That was bad. You throw a fastball. What do you... What was that? This is not like <laughs> this isn't a two seam where he like comes back or anything like that. This is just a oh, that's just a four seam where inside, buddy. Like, what are you afraid of? <laughs> oh man, and that's a that's a really good splitter, I think. Yeah, he, he thinks this is just a fastball up and in because he just freaked out on the last one. Um, man. That's pretty sweet. He's trying to get that one down. Uh, beautiful. I mean, guys, this is... If you want one pitch, if you're saying, all right, how is Otani being so good? Some people say, oh, man, he's throwing 96 miles per hour. Oh, no, the splitter is so good. No, no, no. It's as simple as this. That's it. That is what's making Shohei Otani so good. His ability to put his slider on the edge of the plate, get those early strikes with consistency. That's what's making Shohei Otani just so amazing right now. It's that. Done. It, it, it's it's like the entire game is this. Yeah, the fastball is in it. Uh, beautiful. Another one. He's going he's gonna to stretch him out with a splitter now? Yeah, another one. Like, another one. I mean, this you. it's funny because he's actually trying to get this down here right both of those splitters one was here one was here he's trying to get it down but i think the royals batters are just thinking consciously about fastballs up and then sliders coming back and if it's the, if it's not the slider they're just going to lean on it being the fastball and that's twice he's taking advantage of that you know now against the righty he's going to be more slider focused again first pitch strike that's free real estate like that changes everything you know fastball up then you go back to the slider yeah okay Swing through that. Can't hit it. Splitter? Yep. Textbook. That, that's a textbook at bat. That's a... I mean, first pitch. First pitch is a slider for free real estate, right? Cool. Mix it up now. Then you throw the fastball. Show them that that exists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then you go back to the slider, and they can't hit it. So now they're so conscientious. Oh, man, they can't hit the slider. Maybe we'll go back to the fastball. But no, you throw the splitter instead. And that's... That's textbook and execution all the way through. He threw three secondary strikes. All those are strikes. That's what's important there. You know, a lot of guys try to do that and they, you know, they're like, cool, I've got this, I've got the slider, I've got this changeup and stuff, but then they bounce it and then they bounce the next one and they don't get around it. And Otani just executed it. You know, if pitchers just executed their stuff more, they'll have more success and Otani's just executing. That's it. Fastball for a strike. Okay, now that yeah, right, because now they're getting the heads. This is the third inning. They're thinking, oh, slider focus game. Nope, there's a sneaky fastball in there. In some ways, that's free real estate. Nah, no. Uh, fastball again? Yeah, 97. Now you can do splitter away. He tried to. It came down into the zone. I mean, that's kind of interesting. This is a. Uh, this starts out like. This starts out going here like a, like a fastball. And comes back down here. And props on Lopez for actually staying with it. You know? Like that that's I mean that's why it's a grounder, even though it's super high up, is because he's thinking it's higher. You know, split has so much drop to it. Slider? Oh, curveball there. Yeah, free real estate. And again, once a, like once again, he's executing it. He's doing the thing. He's not battling himself. He's battling the batter. There's a slider for a strike. Oh two now. Like two free real estates. Like, that's how he gets to all these 0-2 counts. And he throws a slider away? Oh, he's trying. To, he tried to. Was that a splitter that stayed up? What was that? Yes, no, that was a slider. Okay. Like, you got to understand, the slider goes from, like, 82 to 87. Not the best camera angle for 
horizontal movement, so you can't really tell if it always goes this way or that way. It's not Cincinnati. I'm not going to do that rant again. That's a really good first pitch. I think it was a cutter, honestly. Yeah, 90. That's nice and a different shape to it. You know, I think that was a splitter that came out of his hand. Cutter? Cutter again, yeah. So, I mean, that's a that's an interesting adaptation. This is the second time around. He's saying, okay, I'm going to be a little different now. Because if they're thinking about the slider, then actually now the cutter is going to be harder. And they think they might have a timing for the slider, and they don't. Right? It's something a little bit different. And it's not as vicious of the slider. Like, you have these guys committing on these pitches. I mean, these guys. It's really just been attending. I mean, here's the first one again. Right? And that's really nice. For a first pitch strike, you just got a foul ball, you know, like down in the zone. You didn't hang it. And it is a little bit like the danger zone of, you know, I talk about it a lot of like this area being where lefties are really good at dropping the barrel. But with the amount of depth that Otani has with it, and it's right at the bottom of this, like you're going to ob often get that grounder down the line. And then the one over here, as he goes back to, is the same thing again. And because Benetton wasn't able to handle it before, He's trying to get under in it, but, you know, does too much. And you get an out. And, like, that's critical. It's not always about getting the called strikes and the whiffs. That's three pitches you got an out. Beautiful. Ah, he really slowed down his arm there. Like, I could, you could really see him cast that curveball. Nah, I'm not going to get that one. Yeah. Close. But, see, see that, that's the thing, though. So, now it's 2-0. And that you can even see right now, this is a totally different at bat, right? Because he didn't execute the first two. He didn't want to swing at either one. Bobby Whip probably would have just taken both of those pitches if he landed in the zone. But it's 2-0 instead of it. I mean, that's just as if you guys need to know about the importance of execution. But that really is sometimes a difference of guys. It's not about like how good their stuff is. It's just like, hey, man, can you just get it in the zone? You don't even need to get it at pristine location. Ah, uh, Bobby Whip, did you go? No, all right. 3-1. Fastball. It's got to be a fast. Just get it in there. Oh, no. Wow. That's cool. Like, I got a hand to Otani of just confidence. The normal for years and years and years. Look, it's a 3-1 count. You don't want to walk him. It's always going to be a fastball because that's the pitch that you can always command the best. And Otani's just like, no, nah, man, I don't really care if it's a 3-1 count. I'm going to throw a slider and I have that much confidence I'm going to get it for a strike. Like, he's not going to show a single fastball here? Nope. Not one. <laughs> Wit is just thinking about him missing on that 97 in the first inning, right? And he didn't see it again. Ah, it's so cool. Oh, my God. Fastball 99. Look at that. Cranking it up with one out in, what, the third inning, fourth inning? <laughs> There's a slider he's so far ahead of. Bounced foul. Oh, that's so good. That's back door. And this looks like it's a strike for so long. Like, it looks like he's going like this. But nah, this is this is like that. And I'm about to sneeze. <coughs> I am so sorry. <clears throat> That's what a slider it looks like is coming back door. So he just gives up on this. He doesn't think it's going to make it all the way back. And nope, you're wrong, buddy. This has come back all the way. Oh, it's sexy. That's just so sexy. <laughs> uh, man. More strikes. That's free real estate. I mean, that's beautiful. You want this to be falling in a glove. You like, if I see a batter swing at this, like, I want this. I want him to swing at this 01 because there's a chance that this falls into a glove and I get out of this inning now. Now with 02, I have to execute again, you know? So throw me a splitter. Yes. Oh, that's such a good one, though. Ha! I know the squad, buddy. Oh, that's such a good splitter. Oh, man. Ugh. <laughs> slider? Yeah, of course it is, because that's just what he does today. I think it was 50% sliders in this, which is insane. Um, curveball misses free real estate. I got to say, there's one element. It's like, was he 50-50 on the curveball now for free real estate? Ah, oh, I almost got another quick out from Santana. No, you got to throw it inside because that scares him, right? Throw a splitter away. A slider back. And this is interesting. So what Santana sees there is that he maybe may think that, like, they were trying out here. But maybe he looks back at the catcher and thinks, oh, no, they were trying to go out away on this one. Like, that's a little bit of information. You swing and you see, where's the catcher? Is he, like, lined up over here or is he over here, right? 
And even though the pitch came in here, you might get that extra information, like how they're trying to attack me. So if I'm Santana, I'm thinking, all right, they're going to try and go back door again now. They're going to stay away because that was the plan. And they did. And look at that. So he actually, ah, two things. One, um, he did get the bat away from this. Like he's looking away, but he did the wrong thing with it. With this pitch, this is this pitch is like is it's falling across the zone, right? Think of it like you're you have to follow this trajectory with the bat, so that when it's coming in, you wanna you wanna make like that traditional, banging off the wall and, and keep it going the same direction. I don't know if that was helpful at all. What I'm trying to say, is that uh, I believe this is a splitter, and I want to make sure I got that right. But yeah, so this is a splitter going across here like this, and if you follow that with your bat, right? It comes in this way and it can go out that way, you know, if you get that angle right. But what I, what Santana is doing is he's trying to get his bat, and I can't really do this in 3D, but he's trying to turn it so that it wraps around this pitch to go that way. And often what you'll get is instead of, you know, here's the whole bat, instead of making contact over here, you instead make contact over here. And that leads to, well, this. An easy chopper to first base and you're done. You know, it's it I think Santana did the right idea of I mean, he's been the majors for ages, and I'm sure that you know he tried to maybe do that and just couldn't get the timing right. But those are the adjustments that you see from like truly elite hitters. Like Juan Soto, you know, Jameson Tyone talked to us and told us about Juan Soto hitting a curveball the other way like, like that. Like going with it and staying with it. And that's that's what the best guys do. Uh, it's it's pretty insane that they're able to make all those calculations and do it. Ah, oh, come on, Blue. <laughs> I know it's not a strike, but it's a strike. Uh, nice fastball up and in. You can do it again after he fouls that off if you want. Yeah, they tried to. You can also play with a cutter if you want. Oh, there's a backdoor slider. 2-1. Ah, oh. ah, oh, that's so good. Spoder. Oh, big curveball. <laughs> he hasn't done that. We haven't really seen um, uh, Shoei Otani throw that 79 mile per hour curveball since, like, in a 2 2 for a strikeout. It's only been reserved early in the count. Oh, that's so beautiful. Man, I, there are days that I used to throw that kind of thing, and not like that, but like trying to, you know, backdoor curveballs like that. And it's so satisfying. It is so satisfying. Because, I mean, that thing had, those are not, again, those aren't like this. Well, they are like that, but they're, they're not like that. Those are, you know, they're coming back, and you're just watching the entire world. You're like, get there. And it does. He tries to get free real estate there. It doesn't work. There you go. Slider in there. Got the free real estate. Throw it again. Yep, you got free real estate. He doesn't want to swing at it. You throw it again. You don't give him the fastball. Oh, you gave him the fastball. He swung. He wanted the fastball. I mean, 99 up and in is amazing. That's like an amazing pitch. Don't get me wrong. Like... That's amazing. But the thing is, this is like a risk to me because he wanted to swing and you executed it perfectly and you got your out. Fair. But if you missed it, if this is here, that's probably a hit. He's ready for it. He's in the entire at bat, he was ready for it. He was selling out for it the entire at bat. You know? Oh, there it is. Beautiful free real estate. Look at that. Just split her away. Is that what they're setting up? Oh, no. They're trying to do a backdoor slider. Okay. I mean, okay, hold on. You can, yes, yes, thank you. Oh, I didn't want to, I didn't want the indication yet, but yeah. You can do whatever you want, but the two really slow pitches just, doesn't matter if you're looking for a fastball now. If you throw a 97, 99 or something up after seeing 72, then 83, like you just don't have the timing yet as a hitter. You know? And inside like that, I mean, not a chance, Nicky Lopez. He is so far behind this. Like, look where his. It, <laughs> You're trying to time it so that this part of the bat is in front, right? Like, you guys know this. This is how his, his bat was angled here. He's trying to get it so that it's like this. So that the ball coming in, you know, right right here, he's so far behind. It's hitting the handle of the bat. But if I don't move my finger, it goes there, right? He's so behind. And he gets it here. Like, oh, man. Get that out of here. Not a chance. That's why you throw inside when you have heat. I mean, you guys know that. 
No, I small. Oh, that's adorable. Slider? That's always a slider. It's just like, it just always gets a slider. <laughs> yep, there you go. Oh, that's pristine. Like, that's 1 0. You can just throw it anywhere in the zone, but no, that's just on the corner because I'm Shoei Otani. Curveball. Oh, and I will say, I can see his arm angle here every time. Like, there's a way that he, like, gets very on top of this. Like, very much so. And I'm going to actually do this really quickly. I want to I wanna screen cap that. Go back to the previous pitch. And I want to see if, if it's how obvious it is. Oh, my gosh. This is insane, guys. I, I'm doing something I don't normally do. But you guys, you all can see this. I, like, <laughs> I hope. But that's the slider. That's the curveball. Slider, curveball. Slider, curveball. Right? Huge arm angle difference. Huge. By the way, I knew it was going to be a slider. Yeah, yeah. Slider. Right? Okay. <laughs> I, there it is again. Yeah. Like, you can tell based on the arm angle. I do wonder if that will get picked up on or not. But good job, free real estate. Again, I mean, went for the splitter. Has not thrown a fastball. Merrifield has not swung once. Tries to get the curveball back in. No. 3-2. Again, has not thrown a fastball. Throw a slider. Don't do it. Don't give in. Yep. Ah! Dang it. <laughs> Fine. This is the That was the first base runner since the second batter of the game. I mean, what is that? That's 16 straight outs. Insane. Nah. Yeah, now he has to pitch on the stretch. So keep in mind that like he's not used to this right now. At all. Like, this is a real abnormality for him. Saying, what does he do through more fastballs because of it? That's interesting. I do wonder. I mean, this is, okay, so this is the first time I think in the entire game we've seen two straight fastballs and two in the first three pitches, right? There's one and then there's two. And I do wonder if from the stretch, Otani is thinking, I'm more confident of throwing more fastballs. Or maybe it's just the Ben Attendi who has seen, you know, him multiple times. He's saying, okay, I need to do something different now. Oh, that could be it. Uh, Maryfield, you messed up. You got to back up more. You can't. Get, you can't let yourself get tagged there. You got to give them more time. Um, but hey, all right, erased, and there you go. <laughs> that was easy. I uh, uh, come on, come on. You got to get the slider over, buddy. I oh, got the fastball. Whit finally got his fastball. Ah, <laughs> uh, and that's two fastballs and two outs for Maryfield, right? He's or Wit. He. he he swung and missed in the first game, inning, and then that one there. And look at this. Man, if this, this is, like, pretty much just so telling for Otani that, wow, if I throw these fastballs, I'm going to be hit. No, I'm going to stop throwing them. I have to stop throwing fastballs because they don't want to swing my slider at all. Yeah, Blue, thank you so much, Blue. No, okay. Wow, 100 in the seventh inning? Pitch 89? Yeah, that's what's up. Splitter. Did he go on that? I mean, if he got it any closer, that, that would have been good. Oh, yes. I mean, that is a strike. That is that is a strike. And a 3-2, you can't not you can't take this. He's thinking this is, you know, the curveball doesn't is gonna have more horizontal bend. This is a strike. Yeah. I mean, that was such a yeah, it's a strike. Whew. I love it. Look at that. Look at look at Otani's. Yeah, the fist pump. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, that 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 strut is the greatest feeling there is. There really isn't there isn't a better feeling. Oh. Especially when you're cruising. I mean, look at that. Dozier has been served like the closest sliders this entire game. It's not fair for him. He's, and finally he gets a fastball and then fouls it off. I mean, look, how many times have guys swung at the slider and how many times have guys swung at the fastball? And I'm talking about, like, in the zone and actually just at both, you know? It, it's so telling about the approach that the Royals have against Otani is just make us... It, it's gonna, they're going to make Otani get those pitches in the zone. And that's what he did. And Otani just executed it, right? Oh, he tried to... He saw it was a splitter and tried to resist and oof. Good job from fouling it off. Yeah, no, you know, you got around too much on that one. Splitter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm with you, Otani. Dude. I mean, yeah, we saw that earlier in the inning, or the earlier in the game, that he had that splitter working down like that. And actually, I'm a little surprised that he hasn't turned to it more often. Um, it's a really good pitch still. 
you know? I mean, but he's really leaning into the curveball in this one. I kind of dig it. He's It's working out. There's a splitter again. Santana's just been like, what is life today? Splitter again. Yeah, I missed that one. Uh, you can splitter again. Yes. Yeah. Santana, I think it's three straight outs on the splitter against Santana. This is this is easy. Slider. Aw. Uh, slider. Uh, come on. Get it in the zone. Fastball, I guess. Yeah. Oh, man. Don't walk him. Okay, good. Wow, 93. Why do you think it's 93? Because he's just like, just get the ball over the plate. He's, that was literally just a, like, please, slider. Fastball 97, cool, got the out. I mean, th that's confidence. You got to feel good that you just 3-0 and you just throw two random fastballs in there and get an out. Like, that kind of confidence does wonders. Is that always going to work out? No. But it really makes you feel good about your stuff that day. Oh, you got the call on the slider, beautiful. Throw another one. Splitter. I'm all for that. Now throw it lower because he does want to swing at it. Oh, and the frisbee comes in. I think it went a little bit even lower on this one. This felt like it was a lower, yeah, even lower arm angle than we saw before. And that's why that's what's pulling him over this way. That's why he did the. <laughs> look at that. <laughs> he's getting a little bit low on that, so he has to kind of correct it by pushing off that way. You know, he's falling left, so he has to push off, and that's why he's jumping to the right. And there you go. That's Otani's start. Yeah, that's, that's how we all feel. I feel like that, too. Oh, Otani. Man, he's so good. I hope you guys get it. You know, that the whole point of this is so that you just understand why Otani is, is successful. And it is pretty wild to see someone with a 96-plus mile-per-hour fastball not dominate with it. It wasn't the fastball. The fastball was, like, not that great. It was a nice mix-up pitch, but it wasn't what made this work. It's just the slider is amazing. And the Royals were so passive on it. Um, you know, it, it it makes me think that, especially right-handers, every single pitch they need to be saying, it's a slider from Otani. And they're, they're gambits that you make as as hitters. You know, it's really hard to hit it. Like, if you're just going to see the ball hit the ball, like, you're going to probably lose a lot. You only need to be right about one every three times at best, you know? So, yeah, you see that. It's just okay. I needed really gambit on, on sliders. Um, yeah, it's insane. So anyway, that's Otani. I hope you enjoyed that. I hope you really get a good glimpse of what he is again. He's amazing. It's best for baseball. I'm stoked. I'm so happy. <laughs> but all right, that's going to do it for today. So make sure you subscribe at the bell, like, comment, all that fun stuff. Help me out. And I, yeah, I'll see you on the site, on the Twitch stream. On our Discord, we have a Discord, of course. You gotta get PL Plus on the Pitchless website. You get all these benefits. It's amazing. You should do that. But that's gonna do it for today. So, my name is Nick Pollock, and may your babs be low and your strikeouts high.